Dell and for this fight brought to you by the United States Air Force Reserve. Saddam Hussein, 36. Carlos Leal is 29. Saddam is a taller fighter at six foot three. And you can see an important number here. Carlos Leal missed weight. That means he starts down a point on the judges' scorecard. Significant reach advantage on both arms and legs for Sada Busi. So keys to victory here, of course, Sada Busi has got to jab and move. He's got to try and keep Leal on the end of that reach so he can set up his kicks and knees to the body. For Leal, take the, take the space away, trap him up against the fence, block the kicks and punch with power right into the fence so Sada Busi has got nowhere to go. Andy Shepard, to you. The following is a semi-final contest in the PFL welterweight division. The winner will face Magomed, Magomed Kalimov in the Million Dollar Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a Muay Thai specialist and stands five feet, 11 inches tall. He weighed in officially at 172 pounds and across his 23 career fights has earned a record of 19 wins and four losses. Fighting out of Curitiba Parada, Brazil, he is the number two seed, Carlos the Lion And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, he is a kickboxing specialist and stands six feet three inches tall. He weighed in officially at 170 and three quarter pounds. He has built a professional MMA record of 15 victories, six defeats, two draws and one no contest. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, he is the 2022 PFL welterweight champion. And the number three seed, the Swedish Denzel Sadabu C. <laughs> Referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson sporting the ref cam. Sadabu C in the blue, Carlos Leal in the gray. The way the Point deduction works for Carlos Leal, Randy, as you're aware. He basically so needs ready? to win all three so rounds of this fight, fight, or he needs to get a finish if he wants to move on to the championship. No small feat against the returning champ on top of that. Carlos Leal getting in the face of Sada Busi very early. Cup check right off the bat. Uh, so right there. Tell me when you're ready. Same uh, better. All right, watch the cup. That's the next one, I think. We certainly heard it knock off the cup. It was definitely a cup shot. I think we might be a little too early. There it is. Undeniable, that one. <laughs> Good thing the equipment is Stay in place. <laughs> Keep them clean. Ready? Time in. Back to the action. Sada Busi will switch stances. Straight Jamming away. <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. You, you, know, you can see Leal just trying to push his way into range because any time he spends on the outside, he's going to be dealing with those long limbs. This is interesting, though. Level change from Leal. Trying to get this fight to the floor inside Reap here. Leal's attached himself to see. He's trying to find a way to pull him to the ground. If he has to, once he's got a hold of him, he does not want to let down, give him any space. Oh, payback. So there was a cup check right over there. by Leal with a knee. I need you to stay right there for me. The knee on the inside, this one, eh? Maybe a little more significant than the first. You know, the challenge that we were seeing there for Leal is that when they were in the clinch, when sadabusi has got head position, it's very difficult to Same reach his body. Because he's so, got such a long frame, he's able to push away with his head. And you can see now their hips have come together. As Leal throws that knee, it catches him right on the cup. Oh, 
Besides the obvious unfortunate situation here in the paint, this is an odd place for fighters to be, Dan, because you get all amped up and mentally ready yeah. to get out and start a semi-final fight, and then already 45 seconds in, two pauses in the action. Yes. That's exactly okay. it. You know, your okay. adrenaline's up, and then it's down, and then it's up again. Especially, you know, because, I mean, it's different for Sadabusi, who is here to take his time and pick his moment to finish the fight. Carlos Leal's the one with the pressure, the point deduction, the weight miss, the range that he has to close to try and get around these long limbs. And everything about Sadabusi's game is just sniping you as you move into his striking range. Look how wide-eyed Leal is. He knows he's in danger at any point when he's at range here. Here's the takedown attempt. And Sadabu, as Leal stands back up, just unleashes oh. the flurry. That one landed behind the ear of Carlos Leal. Let's start looking for these knees from Sadabu C. Now he's got the level change timing of Leal, and he's starting to slow down. Sadabu famously called his last wheel kick knockout, said, I'm going to have a, a viral knockout for you. And we tried to get him to be Nostradamus again. We tried to get him to predict what was going to happen in this fight. He said, watch the knee right up the middle. You know, it's, it's great research. It makes a lot of sense. We saw him use that lead knee really really well against Al Salawi. Took the wind out of him, put him on the canvas, chased him down. Of course, Carlos Leal, shorter, more powerful, trying to get himself into range, but can wrestle as well. And Randy, you're seeing right here the evolution of Sada Bussi's game. Absolutely. He used to hate this position. He didn't want to be chest to chest with you. Even if he was at an advantage, he wanted to be out at range. Now he's very comfortable here and taking, at least trying, to take down Carlos Leal. He's doing something he didn't do two years ago, and that's take control of the clinch. He isn't just in there at the mercy and will of his opponent. And that is work ethic. That's putting himself in uncomfortable situations in the training environment for the last two years and shoring up that part of his game. Half a round gone, and Sadabusi on top of Carlos Leal. Looked like Leal tried to sacrifice throw and ended up on his back. Short uppercuts here from Sadabusi as Leal stands back up with this underhook. Really fantastic work with his head position, causing all kinds of problems for There's Leal. That knee. Sadabu. Those are right up in the gut. Nice little foot sweep attempt by Carlos Leal. Beautiful footwork. Stay calm, bring him closer to me. Listen in to Carlos Leal. We gotta win this round, we got a minute 30 to work. Put him against, back against the cage. Shoulder strikes. Shoulder strikes and the trip. Make him move forward. Make him walk forward. Great awareness from the corner of Carlos Leal telling him, you got to win this round, right? In a lot of these fights, you can live to fight another round, but they know he's down a point on the scorecards. He has to win all three rounds if this one goes to a judge's decision. Final minute of the first frame. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, Dan Hardy on the call. Kenny Florian is under the weather. He'll be back with us for the championship. A little jumping knee attempt by Sadabusi there. Really smart work this by Sadabusi. A patient start, knowing full well that the pressure's on Leal to start fast and try and get the finish. Really good work, slowing everything down, making it feel like his legs and his hips are so far away for Leal to reach. Sadabu stays just out of range of two punches from Carlos Leal. Now Leal in on the legs. Head inside single attempt by Carlos Leal. Good hand control and over up by Sadabu C. Round two of this welterweight semifinal when we return to PFL MMA on ESPN. Magomed Magomed Karimov, he won a decision earlier. He's headed to a championship. Whoever wins this fight in front of us will be his opponent. Carlos Leal once again trying to start fast in round number two. Leal in the gray, Sadabusi, last year's champion in the blue. Right, 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 
Dogged right. pursuit of this single leg here by Carlos Leal. Head outside single by Leal. Saw to be doing a nice job of controlling Leal's head and hands. Leal trying to run the pipe. Trying to capture both legs now. Look at the inside trip. Leal's gonna try and lift him here with a single leg. Beautiful work. Land the pipe. Leal gets into side control. Heavy shoulder pressure from Carlos Leal. This is where he wanted the fight to be. If he couldn't land that big knockout, which is so much easier said than done against someone like Sada Busi. Carlos Leal pursued this takedown for a good portion of round number one, gets it in round two. So take a look at this back foot here. You see how far that's spread out, but this knee's right up underneath his armpit here. He's keeping his base spread. You see this leg right up here. It's forcing Sadabusi to turn away from him, constantly trying to drive him over in this direction to expose his back. If Sadabusi decides to scramble, the choice he's being given is to move away from Carlos Leal. He's gonna roll in that direction, which is not ideal because it's gonna expose his back. And Leal's doing a great job with his left leg of shelving that, uh, that uh, near side shoulder of Sadabusi and encouraging him to turn away. Carlos Leal missed weight for this fight, which set him up minus one point on the judges' scorecards, which means Sadabusi, even though he's on his back, being controlled, he's in a position where he can ride out a position like this. He can afford to lose a round, and it won't necessarily sacrifice the entire fight for him, especially because it looks like he won the first round. See, now this is, we're learning something about Sadabusi's game now. His takedown defense has vastly improved, but once he's been taken down, he's starting to struggle. We've got Magomed Karimov sitting cage side here, thinking to himself, if I can get Sadabusi inside control bottom, I'll be able to dominate him. And Leal is giving Magomed Karimov that confidence in this round here. Sadabu has it figured out he needs that left side, that left hand underhook, and circle towards that left underhook and put him on the right hip inside of his body to start to find a way to scramble up. That's exactly it, Randy. That left arm's got to go underneath. You can see Carlos Leal framing across his bicep to stop him. Now he's looking for a Kimura on that side. Now lots of, of, sorry, ahead, Sean, man. carry on. I'm just saying lots of dangerous things going on here with a guy like Carlos Leal on top of you. Sadabu, at least now, as his belly button turned toward Carlos Leal, if he can get that underhook, he's halfway there. Turning away as, as Leal was trying to bait him into doing is not going to be good for Sadabusi on bottom. She's in that shin is Sadabusi to frame Leal out, hoping he's long enough that he can't reach his head. Now he's lost the far side underhook. Leal continues with the heavy pressure through that shoulder. Go to your butt. Bring your foot. Oh, no. oh, oh, no. Oh, no. No. Nice job, I saw you see. Get up, Carlos. Get up, Carlos. Trying to climb the full mount. That's it. Sadabu timed that hip heist very, very well because he was right when Carlos Leal stepped into the mountain position. Not a place he wanted to be stuck. When you've got long limbs like that, it does help with those bridges. Nice head position again from Sadabusi. Trying to work those knees, but being smothered at the moment by the forward pressure of Carlos Leal. It's always the challenge with the long limbs. You can be your best friend, frame, and keep a guy outside, or you can get smothered and have trouble weaving and pummeling those in to make them effective. Right. You can get folded up at close range. It can be quite difficult to utilize those limbs. Final 10 seconds of this second round in a welterweight semi-final, Sadabu C and Carlos Leal. The punch on the exit for Sadabu at round three when we return. I would say a potential decider, and technically it still is. Carlos Leal, though, started this fight a round down on the Sir, scorecard. Are you ready? Sir, Randy, are you is this ready? one of Keith's 
on a traditional scorecard? Well, I would call the second round 9-9 because he lost the point. I would give the first round to Saddam at 10-9. Well, again, trying to pursue this takedown. He had more success there than in the striking in round two. I've got Ian Parker's prediction in floating around in my head because he thought that Carlos Leal would push so hard in the first and second that he might be more vulnerable in the third for Sadabusi to get the finish. Almost exactly one year ago, these two men fought, and Carlos Leal saw a point deduction because of an illegal blow. And he did not like the way that that decision worked out. Felt like he'd been treated unfairly on the judges' scorecards, as so many of us have in close decision losses. Now he's in a situation where he's pressuring Sada Busi against the smart cage barrier, potentially at a disadvantage because of his own weight mix. The question in my mind is whether Leal chose not to make weight, not to deplete himself, to keep his energy, knowing that he didn't want this fight to go to the scorecards anyway, he wants the finish. And so the one point wasn't going to matter if he was coming out and shooting for the finish. But we haven't really seen that from Leal. Yes, he's pressured, he's trying to find a way to get this fight to the ground, but even when he had it on the ground, it didn't look like he was trying to finish the fight. You know what would be really frustrating for Carlos Leal is if he doesn't get the finish, but he wins two rounds on the scorecards. And it goes to a draw because one of those rounds has scored a 9-9 because of the deduction. And then the tiebreaker in the draw is who made weight, so Sadabu would advance on that technicality. Three minutes will decide if there's someone oh. feeling a grave injustice. That was the knee we were told to watch for. Sadabu with a vicious knee right in the again. middle, and again, and then the nice jab, jab catches the advancing Carlos Leal. And you can see why Carlos Leal wants to be on the ground or wants to be in these chest-to-chest -chest positions because as soon as Sadabu C has any kind of space, he unleashes those various techniques, and most of them land. Now, Leal is dictating where this fight's happening in this third round, but is he being very effective from this clinch? No, he isn't. And I think that's going to factor into the algorithm, and I think certainly the judges' minds as well. Well, certainly the effective strikes have been in favor of Sada Busi on that very brief separation. Final two minutes of this third round in a welterweight semifinal. Keith Peterson wants to see more work. Back to the center of the smart game. And again, Sadabu allows himself to get backed up against the barrier. Now starts moving laterally. Chest to chest again. We might need to see these guys over 25 minutes to find a finish because they're so closely matched. Sadabusi just can't find the space to land the shots that matter. Carlos Leal with an improvement on his last performance against Sadabusi. Oh, spinning back fist on the separation. Oh. And a real kick. Sadabu brings up, ooh, that was a scooping left hand from Carlos Leal that glanced off the forehead of Sadabusi. Final minute of this fight. Sadabu looking at the clock. Looking up the big screen, can see the clock winding down. Almost got a grab on that single leg. Carlos Leal. What does Sadabu C do with this? Can he stay on his feet for the last 30 seconds? Got good hand control. He's using that overhook very, very effectively. Is Sadabu C forward pressure from Leal? It's got C hemmed up against the fence. Final 10 seconds of this fight. Sadabusi earns the separation. 
and they'll just stare it off until the final bell. Rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Brian Miner scored about 29-28 for Carlos Leal. Eric Colon scored about 29-28 for Sadabu C. And Judge David Torelli scored about 29-28 for your winner via split decision and advancing to the 2023 PFL World Championship, Sadabu!